us begin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're up. Pretty much right on time. Okay, so last time, um, you guys defeated <laughs> I'm in. Uh, oh. Crushing Wave cultists and obtained the Water Orb of Destruction and brought it to a point south of River Guard Keep and it detonated um Grimgar and Theron watched it a little bit and saw that a large storm two miles in diameter had formed over the area and then you and your newly created horse uh, took off to catch up with the rest of the group who was traveling on foot from River Guard Keep to Scarlet Moon Hall with the intention of going to the uh, Fire Temple. And that's where we are. Now I've added the three orb detonation locations to the map just so that they're there. Nice, thank you. Okay. Great. Helps a lot. So that purple circle represents where you guys are. And it is uh, pre noon. It's still morning time. Is there anything Can you I guys. Yeah. This one's for Ryan. Because um, Joe brought it up and I couldn't remember why. Why are we going to the Fire Temple? Uh, it's the only one we haven't gone to. And the. Moon Elf might be there, and okay. also some of the, maybe maybe a few of the other people that were in the Mirbar delegation, or the people we're looking for, might have been taken there, we're not really sure. Okay. I wasn't questioning it, it's just, I don't think anybody besides you remembered why we were going there. Maybe Chris, but... I don't Moon know. Elf! Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Have you named your horse? Oh. What did I name him before? Didn't I come up with one already? I don't think so. That's his name. What's his name? Have you named your horse? No. You could make it shorter. Put a nickname. Well, let's name him after the water orb. Let's name him Orb. Destruction? Orby. Let's name him Orby. Okay, Orby the horse. Yes. <clears throat> so good. Okay, um Is there anything you guys want to do on the way to Scarlet Moon Hall? Um we still haven't taken a long rest. We need to do that. Yeah, that's right. We got interrupted. Um so I don't think we should take a rest when we get there. We should probably do it beforehand. What you just said what time of day, didn't you? I don't remember what you said. Pre-noon. Late. There you go. Okay. Late morning. <laughs> are are we going to be exhausted if we keep walking today? No. Okay. Uh, just want to walk. How long is it going to take us to get to Scarlet Moon Hall? Um, so I don't remember what time it was or anything, what I wrote down is that if you guys decided to go there, you would get there at 12.15. Oh. It's early. 
and take a rest if we need. Um, we could do something else in the meantime, so we're not being in a fight. We have plus two in my AC today. I have like no spells left. Did you you I mean, didn't get your long rest the night before? No, remember we got interrupted by. Right. <clears throat> so you could do it right now. I mean, you can sleep whenever you want. Um, but you're not going to be able to take another long rest for, you know, at least like 20 hours after that. Yeah, that's a problem. But you could do it right now just because you haven't. Um, I wouldn't do exhaustion stuff until the, until the second night. Like, if you don't really get a good night's sleep the first night, I don't really care, but it, once it's two nights in a row, that's a problem. Yeah. If we sleep now, it's going to be nighttime that we're waking up, and then we're going to kind of be off on our hours, that's all. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be like 8 o'clock or something like that right now. I really think there's any place else right around us we, we wanted to go, though. We can do... We could just waste time, I guess, and just say we wait until nighttime and then rest. I and mean, the other places we want to get to, I mean, we want to go back to the temples and kind of get into the lower parts of them at some point here, which we haven't really done to any of them. And then uh, that that dream you had there, and it, it sounded like. Uh, um, the golden fields. What should we do about that? You think? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, let's see. Here. Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Probably nothing we can do right now. This is a message you want to send to somebody. Does so anyone have the ability to send messages? Yeah. I think Brian and I both do. Who would you, who would you talk to? Who would we talk to? It has to be somebody we know. Uh, we met the one guard down there. I had you, a... you met lots of people there. You met the abbot. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, we met the guy in charge. We did already warn him. Yeah, it wasn't real specific. That's the only thing. No, I don't know why really that we have anything more specific now. But uh, in my dream, I had that rat guy, and I talked to the rat guy because I remember calling him Rat Man. No, 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 no. Maybe I didn't get that spell because Ryan already had it. I'm a teaming. Sending, sending that. Yeah, I've got sending. Oh no, I do have sending. Okay, I just don't have it equipped. That was why. Uh, she goes, uh... Um. Probably has something to do with the apple orchards, the rat guy. Was he a good guy? Uh, he was a rat man. I don't think he was a good guy. Um, I think he was deceiving me because he's a rat. You hate rats. And I hate rats. <laughs> well, mostly were rats. But what, he wasn't a were rat. He was just a rat shaped man, right? Yeah, I yeah, believe that's I the don't case. Think he was an actual <laughs> rat. rat shaped man. <laughs> we just were some, for some reason calling him a rat man. 
Yeah. If I remember correctly. But if you were to send a warning, I would say uh, there's a rat man in the apple orchard left to no good. That's all I got. Well, we're thinking the earth temple's probably attacking there, right? Yeah. With their earthquakes or whatever. With their orb. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's a cube this time. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that was Miles. Miles was a rat guy. He was eating cheese. I think that's why you thought, you thought he was a rat. <laughs> maybe I wasn't the rat guy. <laughs> just some guy eating cheese. <laughs> just a guy eating cheese. <laughs> yeah, I, I do remember we were saying he was a rat man, but it would just made no sense why. Yeah, I guess, yeah. That's Very not... silly reasoning why you're calling him the rat man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's very coincidental. Yeah. Send a message to somebody there. I don't know who, but the abbot. Should we send a message to the abbot? Send it to the abbot. I mean, I guess we don't know. We can trust the abbot, but probably more so than the cult, at least. All right. What should it say? Um, twenty-five words or less. You're next. Well, they don't like um, vigilantes, right there. Then tar them. They don't yeah. like tar them. They also don't like people messing with the police business or some shit. Yeah, that was Yartar. Yeah, that's oh, that's cool. right. Okay. Then fine. I guess just warn them about you know cultists and cloaks and potentially a box. Okay. You've you've definitely already warned them about those three things. Yeah, oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. I guess all we know is that it's the Earth right people, but I mean that's not really gonna yeah. give them much more information. Do we I don't bother them any more than. Okay, I mean we could just stand watch and make camp here and wait until wait. night. Yeah, wait out the day. I like yeah. It. I think anything else is just too risky. You know, we're wasting Chris's AC. <laughs> okay, so you're going to hang out where you are for the day? Yeah, I'm just going to make my tiny hut and chill in there. I'm going to jump in it. Okay. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Fine mm -hmm. with me. So you guys can do a long rest then. Okay. Yeah. I want to play, play dice and read about my god to the group, which I know they're all very interested in. If it's new, I'll listen, but if it's old, I'm probably going to ignore you. Well, it's not new to me. I've read it many, well, many yeah, times, but I don't, I don't know if I've read you every section from the Odds are, if Theron heard it once, he probably remembers what if, it is. If there's a new section I haven't read you guys, I'll read it Okay, again. then I will listen intently. Does anyone have more arrows? Like 10 or something? Okay. I think I do. Have arrows. And I would love to just get them. I, don't know. I have 80 arrows. I have 12. So you want 40 arrows? Sure. All right. Give yourself 40 arrows. I'm just expecting 40 arrows. Me too. Since you guys are doing nothing the day before, you can get up at whatever time you get you want. So what time do you want to get up? Sunrise? Whenever sun rises? Sure. Okay. Oh. New boots. What was that between six uh, and eight? So probably like that one there. I have twenty-five more arrows when you're ready for them. All right, I'll take them. You want them right now? Sure. All right. There, so we get, we get to do our long rest stuff. Yeah, yeah, long rest okay. stuff. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yep. So what time do you want to get up? Did they ever level up? From yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, sunrise, whatever time sunrise is. Delete this. Okay, I'd say 7 a.m. That's good. And we will head to the fire temple. Okay. <clears throat> to Scarlet Moon Hall, not the fire temple, but... I okay. I it. So I'm going to say you guys uh, arrive at 10 a.m. Uh, let me 
to see this. Oh, I do this. Right. Okay, I think this is set up right. I hope it's set up right. Okay, uh, I've turned off all of the, like, walls and stuff, so you guys should be able to see the entirety of this map, right? Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah. You can see the whole hill, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You arrive back at, uh, Scarlet Moon Hall. Now, unlike last time... Um, there isn't that smoky haze like there was before. It's all cleared up now. Oh, hey, I remember this. Great. Do I? Don't I? These fires, even though they're lit on the map, are not lit right now. Do we see anybody around? It's on Percy up in the sky. It's a good idea. Oh, yeah, I've got to make a Percy, don't I? Yeah, I was about to actually just ask you about that. I thought maybe he was under me. I take Percy, hold him in my hand, and I say, Go on, buddy. Take a look <laughs> around. <laughs> take a walk on the wild side. He shoots up about, well, let's say 20, 30 feet. He shoots up 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. He um, rises up, blast up Sure, make sky. a perception check. This hill is pretty steep, so he's not actually even high enough to see this level at 30 feet. Okay. Uh, perception. Twenty. Well, I do with him. I gotta put it on normal. My bad. But twenty works. <laughs> yep. Um, he doesn't see anybody at either of the bottom two campsites. There's no smoke or anything we see coming nope. up. Okay. Nothing. Let's cautiously approach. What do you mean cautiously? Yeah. Stealthily or what? Mm. I would like to go stealth like. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. So make stealth checks and give me your marching order. <clears throat> well, Percy would be a, in front, above. Uh, and invisible, high, right? And invisible. Okay. Um, and then I'll do... I don't know. I don't necessarily want to go first. I'm not that strong. I'm, I'm going in the back. Then I'm stealthy. Well, you don't... Okay. Decide where you are in the order before you roll. Yeah, sorry. Because how well you did... How quiet you were climbing the hill can't determine... What order you started in? I might just make everyone get plus ten for stealth checks with this. Okay, but I need an order though. I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> I'll go second. Okay. Let me do my stuff. I want to go second to last. Okay. Rob talking? I'm, I'm very stealth-like. I'm just kidding. I'll go last. I'll go before him. Okay. Grimgar has a 14 stealth. Dundas has a 26. They don't even know I'm there. 28. 29. As we all know, Theron, the sneakiest of the group. Yeah. What are we missing? Maxon. Natural one. All right. Yeah. So, you guys climb up the hill. Three of you sneaking very quietly. Grimgar with a 14 is he's got like he's like sticking his fingers into the joints on his armor to keep it from clanking and Maxon is just talking out loud to himself uh, I am what am hey, I saying? you rolled a natural one who knows you tell me 
Max, be quiet. But I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> that's yeah. what that's what Maxon says. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, what am I saying? I don't know what I'm what saying. You, talking hey, man, calm down. I, I really don't know why. Hey, man, calm down. He says to himself. <laughs> um, let me know if you want to look around or something. So far, you have not passively seen anybody. Yeah, I'm gonna keep eye out for stuff. I assume I like uh, the, he's doing the same thing. Make a make a perception check then if you're actively looking. Yeah, so. I am, and so is Percy. So I'm gonna do both. Yep. Perception. And natural Percy. twenty for Dundas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Investigator, yes. 14. You don't see anybody. These fires look like they've been dead for a long time. Okay. It looks like nobody's been around. No no footprints or anything? Nothing. Hmm. Got it. I believe you it. Creep on up the hill. And you get up to where the tower is. Got and it. you haven't seen a trace of anybody. Okay. Huh. Well, shit. Check out the tower and the tents inside here. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right. Should I investigate? Sure. So Dundas begins rummaging through the tents. Natural hey, 20. He's good. The I'm tents fucking... are all completely <laughs> empty. Damn it! I say. I'm really feeling good today about my investigation. I just ain't finding shit. Completely empty in the tents. All right, I guess we should check out the building. Yep. So the front door is still covered in rubble. Um, the way you had entered before was that you climbed the scaffolding and then went in on the third floor. Do you want to do that again? Could we remove the rubble in front of the door? You can start working at it. It really depends on how long you want to do it. How long is it? I mean, is it again an hour? Is it ten hours? Um, I mean, it depends on what your checks are, how long that it would end up taking. But if all of you work at it, maybe two hours. Hmm. No, let's, let's just climb. Yeah, I guess that's a climb. Yeah. Okay. Scaffolding look steady. Yep. Okay, I'm going to move you into the tower. Let me just. Oops. There we go. Oops. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. There we go. Okay, so done this. I'm going to stack you guys a little bit in here since it's the dimension has changed. We're in a different dimension? Kind of. Mm. Deep. Okay. So you enter on the third floor. Still nobody? Nope. Hmm. Well, I guess if there's an entrance, it's going to be below. So let's head down. Okay, how are you going to get down? Uh, what am I looking at here? So there's no stairs, is that correct? Correct. There's all okay. a big hole in the floor right in front of you. Is there something to tie a rope to here? Um, I mean the other staircase, I guess. Okay, I want to do that. Okay. And if I look over, if I look down the hole, how deep is it? Um. Oh, well, let's see. I can use the measuring. I see the I bottom, I guess. Use the measuring tool to tell you how deep it is. So to the rubble is uh, 
Oh, you can't see it. When... Yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't want to put my character over the hole to look down. That was the thing. You guys can't see my measurement. I can see it. You can. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it looks like it's about forty-five feet, fifty feet down to the rubble. All right. I'll tie it and then drop the rope down. Okay. And is anybody real good at climbing? Want to go down the rope? Yeah. Um, you do you have a climbing ability, Erkin? No. Okay. I don't think so. It's just <clears throat> dexterous to climb when you can fly. Yeah, then make a yes. dexterity check. I guess. I only have the guy who can fly go down. What did you? What did your boots get you? Did you post that? Uh, charisma. I got extra charisma. Oh, okay. So I'm very charismatic today. Great, you can do all the talking. I'm very deceptive, and uh, that's about it. No, you. You want to go down the rope? No, let's send the guy who fly go down. There. Okay. Maxine? What am I looking for? Rope. Yep, you're going down. You're flying down to look for rope. No, I'm not. Find us an entrance. All right, I go down there. Go ahead. He's trying to go through the floor right now. <laughs> there we go. All right, he flies back out of the tower. And he's going back down the scaffold. Out of the way, Maxon. Oh, now he's flying. He's flying above the tower now. We lost him. He flies away like a mosquito. I come back yeah. and say I don't see anything. No, to the right. In the down, tower. Yeah, down this hole. No, the other way. Oh. There you yeah. go. I don't see anything. Hmm. I thought the floor went all the way to the wall there. My bad. All right. Is, it, is there anything good down there? Uh, you can't go any lower than that. You're on top of the rubble now. Okay, I'm on top of the rubble now, guys. Cool. Do you see wow. any way to get down from there? I'm like a trying. hole in the floor? Are you landing or... or... I'm going to move up here. No. Nope. Well, they're it's discussing. Just, I, 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 hate, I hate the, the ground, lighting, by the way. Sorry. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything down here unless it's buried under rubble. Did you land on the rubble? I'm, I'm on it right now, right here, yeah. Okay, roll initiative. What? Damn it, Ryan, what'd you do to us? Do anything. Piece of <laughs> shit. I'm glad I didn't <laughs> go down there. Initiative. Alright, well, I guess this isn't a good way to go. Let's head back out. Yeah, let's just leave. Okay, they're leaving, so what do I do? <laughs> Joking. Oh, initiative? My bad, my bad. Let's see, where's my boy? Oh, that's intelligence. Where's his initiative? That's intelligence. Classic. Uh, something I don't what? have. Classic. I can't find it for a fucking Percy. It's. I think it's a little picture of a dice, kind of. Oh, it is. It is like up top, right there. Boom. There it go. is in a different spot on the creatures. <laughs> like barely, though. <laughs> it's like okay. just to the left. <laughs> So neither of yours went in because you didn't click the token first. Ah! I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. Got it. Let's see. Does this do it? Yeah. So your first roll for yourself. Okay. Six point one six. Percy, where you at, baby? Who are we missing, there. Theron? No, man. I I'm don't see your name. What do you mean? Big thunderstorm. Erkin, Grimgar, Maxon, Magman, Dundas, Percy. Who? Magman. 
Where's yeah, Theron? Does, that, does anybody else see Theron on there? Nope. I don't uh, see Theron. Oh, I just well, disappeared from oh. there. I was right on there. Look at my roll. I rolled a 22.15. Did you click your token first? I did, and it showed up there for me, and now it's gone. Interesting. What was your hmm. first roll? First roll? Yeah, you said you rolled twice. You no. Rolled natural 20. Yeah, that's a nice roll, baby. I don't see him on there, though. Unfortunately. This one. I hit it, rolled, I saw my name there, then you were all confused, and then all of a sudden it disappeared from the turn order. I don't know. Your um, roll didn't show up until well after you told me you'd rolled. That's why I thought you rolled twice. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Must have been some connection error then. Okay. Um. So the Magmans go first because they get a surprise round on Max, and they were hiding beneath the rubble. Assholes. Um. They're just gonna swarm him. It doesn't look like they're home. It looks just. Well, who just chills down here? Better than that. <laughs> These guys do. How do they survive down here? self sustained <laughs> Alright. Okay, you're gonna take five attacks from the Magmans. The rubble's just poop. Alright, <laughs> um, your AC is what? 17? Is yeah. that right? Right. right, you've got that breastplate, so it's 15 plus 2. Yeah. Nice Alright, they all miss. Wow. 14, exactly. 15, 13, 13, 6. They all try to grab you, they all miss. So, Percy's up. Maybe they should have had advantage. Because you were surprised. Um... But that's yeah, okay. No, I don't care that much. Surprise round, right? Um, no, you're, I think you're supposed to have advantage when you surprise somebody. I think that's really? in the rules. But I'm not going to do it this time. Because I'm they're not weak surprised. Anyway. I'll have him just do a perception and see what... Okay, roll it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, he didn't see anybody good. else. Theron. Um, I will use, hmm. I don't think they're that strong, I don't want to waste anything, I got rid of Shatter, no, I don't have a cheap AoE attack, alright, I guess I'll, f no, they're, they're Magma men, aren't they? They're not gonna... Yes. They're not going to be hurt by fire. Um, make um, an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, you've never dealt with Magman before, but you do doubt that fire damage won't work on a creature that's made of lava. I doubt that fire magic won't work. You doubt that it would work. Okay. What about cold magic? Um, that depends creature to creature, you don't know. Okay, I'm gonna shoot a ray of frost at one of them then. Okay, which one? Uh, I, uh, I, I can't see them, so yeah, I'd have to move. Okay. Do you go up the um, stairs? I guess I go up one. Okay. There would be enough room for you to stand next to Dundas too, I don't really know where you want to go. Okay, yeah, I don't know how the squares are gonna work. Yeah, the room is, yeah, is 25 foot square. Obviously, what's shown here is just the... Well, actually, this is drawn much bigger than that, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll attack the guy to his north. Above him. Okay. It definitely hits. And he takes the damage, but 
Only four. You low roll. Yep. Okay. Is he slowed or something now too? Yeah, ten feet. Ten feet. Okay. All right. Erkin's turn. Yep. My turn. Aha. We're gonna hunters. Well, how far away is this? It's, it's not very far. Yeah. We're gonna hunters mark the north guy. Ignore that. I didn't mean to do that. I want the text to show up, but you know what it does. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna shoot him three times with a bow. Which guy? The top guy? The no guy in the north of him, okay. the one that just got hit. Yep. Yeah, hopefully it works. Longbow. Okay, it's dead. Shit. Um so when you hit it with that, it dies. Um Maxon, make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Take three fire damage as the creature dies. He's fine. Uh, so when it dies, it explodes, and fire and magma go flying. Um, your shirt is on fire. Damn. At least it's just your shirt, man. That's okay. I use my stone fist to put it out. Sure. I'll Sorry. give you that. Doesn't, doesn't feel temperature. All right, two more shots, Erkin. All right, to the guy to the northeast of him. Uh-huh. Boom. Uh, and... he's dead. Uh, Max, and make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Might be good though. Hold on. Why? I get plus five, really? You pass. You don't take any damage. You oh. dodged all of it. Wow. Nice. And the guy. Oh wait, the no. I'm sorry. It's half as much on a success. Ooh. Wow. It's not going to be too bad though. Oh, was the... You take four. It's even worse. Which guy? The guy who was right. Okay, he's dead. Make a dexterity saving throw, Maxon. Ah. Uh, trying to read something. You failed. <laughs> Uh, you take seven fire damage. That's what you get for going first. All right. You, you done, Maxon? Go first. All right, I'm sorry. I'm All right, Erkin. Erkin. Yeah, you done? Okay. Maxon, it's your turn. I'll go there. Wait, there's only two left. Mm-hmm. Punch him in the face. I'll do that. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, you you, you punch, go to punch. So a natural one. Oh yeah. That's uh right. you can't lose your weapon or anything. Make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh okay, <then. laughs> third one tonight already. Alright, uh you swing and miss, you fall down, you roll down the, the, the pile of rubble, you're gonna take two D six piercing damage from stray boards that you get stabbed with, and both the magmans are going to take opportunity attacks. Okay, uh, so you, you took the seven damage. No, you didn't. Put, could you put that first seven in of piercing? Okay, you, then you take seven fire damage. If the target is a creature, it ignites. Until the creature takes an action to douse the fire, you take 1d6 fire damage at the end of each turn. Okay, so you roll down the hill, you're down there now, and you are on fire. Oh boy. And you've already started your action, so you can't you can't douse the fire on this turn. The other thing is too, I'm realizing what what's so weird about this map is the measurements are all off. I'm gonna increase the size of all your tokens. They um, I didn't I didn't build the way the map works here, and uh, they put 
two different scales on the same map, which is impossible for roll 20 to deal with. So all I just have to do is just double the size of all the tokens to fix it. Percy's a little harder, I guess. Um, yeah. You've got one more attack left on your turn. I do? Yeah, you attacked once, you get two a turn. Right? I don't want to do anything. Okay, he doesn't uh, do anything else. He just... Do you want to get up at least? You're laying down, like, face first in the rubble right now. Yeah, I'll stand up. That's probably all I can do. <clears throat> okay. He stands back up. Wait, what do you mean you could you could you could attack again? Good. I thought standing up takes an action. No, it takes half your movement. Oh, that's right. Okay, it's not letting me. This whole thing is so messed up. It's not letting me really do Percy the way I want, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. Yes. He takes up a whole square. That's all. This all good. And each square yeah. is two and a half feet. I can't wait for you guys to be off this map. Two and a half. Me too. Grimgar. Because uh, I thought the rooms were supposed to be 25 by 25, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, why does everything look huge? Can I move on to the stairs here somewhere that I can look down? Yeah, I mean, the the, the, the hole is 25 feet across, so you could stand next yeah. to Dundas. Okay, all right, I'll kind of do that, I guess. Um, And I'll use Toll the Dead on... Whichever one is closest to me, I guess. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Let's see if my roll works here. Yeah, it's just a DC 17. I don't want it to roll the attack. Okay. Just take off the attack. Natural one! Okay. All of a sudden, its head looks like it hurts really bad, and then it just blows up. Uh, Max, make a dexterity saving throw. You pass and take four fire damage. Oh, and at the end of your turn, you take 1d6 because you're on fire. One more damage, so a total of five. No, I, I, I gotta roll the damage for that. That didn't come out right. Grab a drink. I, I mean... Okay. Does it matter? Does it not matter? Um, I gotta figure that spell out. Uh, had they been hit before, or had that? Oh yeah, rolled a d twenty and added five. Yeah. No, it hadn't been hit before. Okay, so it's two d eight. Mm, it might not die. No, oh, that wouldn't have killed it. Uh, I don't care. It's dead. I mean, this is this isn't supposed to be drawn out anyway. It's just a few magmen. Your turn over. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Done this. I don't want to bother with a spell. I'm gonna roll this again. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to figure something out here. Uh, I can see. Is this knucklehead? I'm gonna just shoot him. Am I good to go? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Yep. Uh, Max, I make a dexterity saving throw. Nice. You take two fire damage. All the magmen are dead. Maxon, do you want to use your action to put the fire out? Yeah. Okay, I think that just succeeds. I was hoping. You're, no, you're no longer on fire, and we are out of initiative. We. Okay, Max fly, <laughs> flies Maxine back, back up, up out of the hole. See, Max, and you make sure all those guys are gone down there. Uh, you can go make sure. <laughs> There's still a rope there. Well, it's easier for you to fly down and back, though. Looks clean to me from here. Are you hurt? You look a little hurt. Um, I'm also missing some skin. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come on over here? 
third degree burns and Don't all. trust him, he's a magman. Oh, uh, are you out of initiative? Yes. He's a wear magman now. Cast uh, cure wounds on him. Where's Level at? two. Okay. Oh, that was shitty. Uh, 12 plus 2. So 14. 14. Okay, that, that's better. Yeah, it looks a little better. Did you put out the fire? Why, is there still something burning? Nothing's burning. Something? All right. uh, <laughs> I guess I guess we should investigate down there, see if we can find a way down. Is is there no other part of it's just buried whatever is under there is buried under rubble. How much how much rubble's down there? I couldn't tell. It's kind of, if you compare, if all the floors are the same size, I'd say it's maybe half full at the highest point. You think there's a secret down there? Uh, I guess we should go check it out. And everyone from here is gone. We I assume they probably went to the temple and got there somehow. I'm going to climb down and take a look. Okay, just make an athletics check to make your way down the rope. <clears throat> yep, you're fine. Okay. Oops, i got to go back to my select. Okay, I'll go down the rope. Me and I kind of want to look around for jump anything. If there's a anything that looks suspicious, I'm trying to find a way down. So, you know, if there's trap door or something covered up by rubble, whatever it might be. Okay, you can make an investigation check. Dundas, do you jump down? I'm wearing that cool wingsuit. Oh yeah, yeah, you can fly down. <laughs> That's why I wanted to do that and gain your y'all's attention. Hey, check this out! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> he let himself. And the whole the whole thing was in order for you to float down, you have to move forward the same amount you're moving down. But yeah, so you, you could spiral on the way down though. Like well, uh, Grimgar's the only one who can't fly. He spirals down to the floor. Everyone else can fly. Trip. Um, boom, 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 so, Grimgar, you look around, <laughs> and this top layer of everything is stone and wood and metal. Um, this is an old tower. A lot of it had fallen apart over time. The scaffolding outside was because the cultists who were here were rebuilding it. Um, you don't find anything significant just kind of sifting around on the top. I'm assuming that you were only taking ten minutes to look, though, and not hours. Mm -hmm. So with a fifteen, that is that is what you determine that it's just it seems it seems kind of something that naturally happened over time. The top just kind of fell in. Hmm. And how deep does it does the rubble appear to be? Well, based I... on the piece of floor above you, that would would have been the second floor. Yeah. Um, and the amount of space between the second and first floors, um, it's a, probably a, a 15 foot ceiling. So at the top, 15 feet, you know, th where Dundas is, 15 feet. And on the other side, five, seven feet, something mm -hmm. like that, of rubble. Well, what do you think we should do? Try to dig our way in? We don't know for sure there's a way down here, although it would make sense. Um, there's probably a different way. Okay, what's your idea? We go up. Gotta get up to get down? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. And try that first, I suppose.
So nothing nothing looked freshly disturbed down here besides obviously the fight the these guys. Oh, did you want to know if somebody had been digging through it recently? Yeah. Like disturbing? Uh yeah. It does look that way? Yeah. All right, I I want to spend some more time here digging around. Particularly in a spot where it looked like someone was digging before. Okay. Working's going up the stairs. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to keep looking down here while you guys go check out. I'll, uh... I'm not going to make you roll Irk and you don't see anything on this floor. I'm going to investigate this pile. Okay. The, there are abandoned sleeping bags. Um... Bed rolls Irkin on that on that floor. Interesting. Grim Grab, why don't you make another investigation check? Um so Dundas, over where you are, it doesn't look like it's been moved around as much. You both mm -hmm. kinda determine that it's the very middle of the floor okay. that has been moved the most, and you only figure that out because there's a lot of scorch marks in that area. And so you kind of come to the conclusion that the uh, the magmen were perhaps digging it out and then filling it back in. Mm, I say. Okay. Like where they were hiding? Is... No. Uh, it looks like they had dug a deeper hole and then filled it in. And that's more specifically on this mm. side, you're saying? In the very middle of the room. Oh, very middle. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Erkin? I'm going up. Go ahead. Slowly. Dig this out, dude. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Uh, There's nobody up there, but there is a desk um, with something on it. A bunch of, bunch of somethings, paper objects. Can I look at the somethings? Sure, make an investigation check. Um, okay, so on the desk, uh, you see that there's a lot of paper, um, but oh, most of it has been burned beyond being legible. Um, looking through all of it, they seem to all kind of be about the same thing, that the scraps that you can read. Um, instructions to recruit more people, instructions to kill anyone who gets in their way, instructions to attack the other cults, things like that. Two specific things are specifically repeated on the papers. One is the fire symbol, uh, which is that bowl shape uh, with the little legs. The other one is the phrase, fire is eternal. Um, you also find an iron key. And then uh, looking around the room... Um, it appears that the, the room has been recently scorched, and I don't mean that there's been a fire, I mean that there there must have been a flash of something. You've seen similar patterns when people have used fireballs, where, you know, nothing catches on fire, but everything gets nice scorch marks on it from, from the flash of the explosion from the spell. Okay. I will pick up the iron key. Okay. And I shout down to Theron, something happened up here. <laughs> something happened? Yeah, some kind of ruckus. Fireballs right, and stuff. I'll check out the ruckus. So Grimgar and Dundas, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna start digging. Right yeah. Here. Okay, yeah, what, are digging. You, what are you using to dig? Yeah. I got mason's tools, I, I yell, and the uh, hammer. Have... Okay, um... so you pull out a hammer and a chisel. I, I yell up. <laughs> well, maybe there's some rocks to split apart to make them easier to toss away. Okay. I have. I, I yelled up. Does anyone have a, sh have a shovel? Um, Shovel. That's a weird request. I'm just using my hands for now, I guess. Let's see. Okay. Crowbar, crowbar and hands. I'm going to break apart shit. Crowbar would yeah, be good crowbar. if you find like a big rock you want to roll down the thing, yeah, towards. Yeah, towards Grimgar. I'm not sure if my smith's tools would have anything useful for digging. I guess the crowbar and fuck, I need... 
shovel. Okay, let's you you let's resolve you two up top first, and then we'll go back down to them. Okay. Yeah, right, I'm gonna keep going. All right. Go with them, I guess. <laughs> Uh, is it open? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about what to say about the fact that there was a fire in this room, kind of, and you guys just both jumped on the ladder together, but... It's That's actually nice. it's actually fine, so it's okay, but... I was like, oh, they just kind of j both jumped on that. It's fine. Okay. Uh, you make a perception check. Both of us, or just him? You can both do it. Okay, um, you both see that the floor of this attic is caked in bat shit. Ah! Ah, bat shit. Damn it. Durkin starts rubbing it on his body, of course. Don't do that. It's like soap. Open your mouth. Don't breathe it in. <laughs> it's basically soap. Is Batman living here? Could be. Werebat. Werebats. Which isn't technically a vampire. It's something what different. is it, Man-Bat? It's like a bat. If only we had a bat whistle. Man-Bat. <laughs> Why don't you go uh, check the integrity of that ladder? I want to check the integrity of this ladder. Okay. What am I Investigate wrong? it. It has much integrity. I right, climb it. Okay. This is the roof. Yeah, you poke your head out. You're on, you're on the roof. Hello. Wasn't Erkin, there more? Erkin, do you respond? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd say, uh, hello. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Nobody else answers. Okay. All right. It just goes to the roof. Weren't there much people up here before? Probably. Oh, that was just bad shit? Yeah. You've never been in this room before. What was the room with all the people? The one below? The room below, yeah. Below, yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's cheese it. Okay, do either of you have any way to help them dig? Uh, maybe. I can blow wind. Um, I can transmute rock. I can what? Make, I can make it into mud. I have a scroll. Can I just use my fist, Joe? It's like... What's it do? Um, can you shape it into a shovel? I think I can. Uh, I don't think it says, but I think I'd let him do that. I thought I can, like... Oh, well, yeah, I think it does... can add that to its abilities, there. I guess. can turn into a shovel. What's he turning into a shovel? His hand? Oh. Is he like a transformer? Can he turn himself into like a steam shovel or something? Just <laughs> turn hand. himself into one. He transforms his whole body. <laughs> yeah, grab me. <laughs> um, steam shovels. <laughs> Turns into a jackhammer, but there's a joystick for some reason. I'm not operating it. <laughs> uh, you can change the material of your hand. Turn it into a hammer. I don't know, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you change it into. You can change it into a hammer. You should be able to change it to other things, right? Sure. I mean, I'm not gonna give you carte blanche to turn it into whatever you want, but a shovel is fine. <laughs> Change it into a whole bunch of diamonds. <laughs> I want to change like it Skittles. into the best thing in the game. Yeah. <laughs> um. Right. Okay. More of a uh, shovel, guys. So you guys get to work, uh, digging down in, and I'll say that between all of you, since you do have a shovel now, that it, it'll take you an hour to get down to to the floor. Um, okay, so what you end up finding on the floor level, because they drew it on the map for some reason, 
Um, well, actually, that's the front door on the map. I don't know if that confused you at all, but that's that's actually the front door. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, on the floor. On the floor, you find a thin stone slab resting atop and the um basically a frame um it's like this slab was meant to to sit on top of a door but whoever put it back last didn't line it up entirely so this slab is like askew a little bit and you can see that there's a door in the floor underneath it and by door, I mean, you know, a hatch. Like, it's not a rectangle, it's a square. Do we... Is there any light or anything coming out from it? Or back it's supposed to? From underneath it, no. Oh. I mean, the door is closed, anyway. Oh. Well, let's open that bad boy up. Okay, so Theron, that, Theron, did you go down there with them? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't move my token. Yeah, and Erkin, what are you doing? Are you just hanging up on the stairs? Sure, I'll watch them. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to get in the way. I don't want to get my hands dirty. Okay, so you're both watching. Okay. He's a medic hand. Alright, uh, Grimgar grabs the slab and lifts it up, and you, you, there's a flash of light, and you hear like a dink, and then a fireball goes off. No. Uh, hmm. Are we all dead? I die. Um, the fireball is a sixth level fireball. <laughs> um, oh. Everybody, the three of you, make a, a dexterity saving throw. No. Oh. Good job, Erkin. You man. Make all the right choices today. <laughs> oh my god. Dexterity, come in. So funny. Bullshit. All right, uh, Grimgar and Dundas, you each take thirty-three points of fire damage. Maxin, you take sixteen. The DC was sixteen, so you just passed. Whoa. Uh, um, and when that happened, it it just shattered that stone slab. It's so, like you lifted it up and it just went poof, poof. Sorry. The good news is that it did clear out a lot more of the rubble. <laughs> so, <coughs> good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I should have just done that. Let's, o let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> hey, let's tap in He's tapping on it. Let's tap in this bad boy up here. Huh? <laughs> Rock flies back up to the floor above again. I'm not going down there again. I'm not Get going down back here. down there. Alright, so the hatch is clear now. Oh, shit. <laughs> is anyone resistant to fire? Not no. me. Unfortunately. Who's, who's good at checking for traps? I'm not, obviously. What is that, investigation? Yeah. It's perception, isn't it? What is that, Joe? Investigation. I have a nine. I, got a one. I mean, depending on what you're doing, perception or investigation. Like, investigation is when, you're, like, you're up close on something, looking through it. Perception is when, like, you're standing on one side of the room, and you're trying to, like, check out the tiles to see if maybe one's a different color or something like that. Like, it's just perception is more from a distance, and investigation is, like, getting all up in it. Get all up in there. It's there in specialty. Pretty good. I thought Dundas was an investigator, though. Yeah, but especially. He's terrible at investigation. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. It's like Mr. 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 Just plus three. Ah. Uh, make an athletics check to get down the rope, though, Theron. You got it. Ooh, oh, breaks everything. Oh, okay, well, you fell. Got yeah, killed by a two by four. <laughs> I tried to, you like, take, catch him. You take... Um... 
Okay. All right, Grimgar. Uh, make an athletics check. What did he try to do? He's trying to catch you. Oh. That's nice. Saved. Okay, you don't take the damage. Oh. With a 15, I'll say you caught him. Thank you. My hero. He ca and, then you, and then you <laughs> give a big kiss. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and You've I got beard hair in your mouth. Yeah, it's, and it's singed, too. <laughs> <laughs> they both laugh. Okay, you check over this trap door, and you discover... Three things about it. One, it's closed. <laughs> Two, it's not trapped. Whoa. Three, it's locked. Oh no! Don't you even anybody hear a locksmith? Bad boy up. I have smithing tools. <laughs> Just right. take the hinges <laughs> off. Get back I down have, here. I have thieves' tools. Is anyone good? I do. Anyone good with thieves' tools? <laughs> I uh, throw the key at Theron. You're in luck. I have a silver. Okay, right, have to to make a already? dexterity check to catch it, Grimgar. Or Theron, I'm catch sorry. Theron. Catch yeah. this. Ah. I try to catch okay, it. Okay, you caught it. Ooh. Caught it. Nice throw. I try it, the key. It doesn't work. I throw it back to Eric and. This doesn't uh, work. Uh, Make a ranged attack, Theron. Okay. That's gonna be dexterity, just just dexterity, d20 plus dexterity. Dropping it down is easy. Throwing it up two stories because you guys are actually on the bottom now. That's easy. D20 dexterity is two. You guys are on the you're you're all on the bottom now. Maxim might not have come all the way down, but so 21. Yeah, great throw, Erkin. <laughs> dexterity check. <laughs> Perfect throw. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping you guys just end up losing this key, that's all. Natural yeah. 20, alright. He catches it in his teeth. teeth. Yeah. It, lands, <laughs> it lands right in his pocket. <laughs> that's a good one. Happens. And he doesn't move. <laughs> it goes up over his head and then comes back down into his pocket. He no, doesn't move at his all. It <laughs> reattaches to the ring he has. <laughs> and and the pocket buttoned itself. God <laughs> yeah, damn, that was a good throw. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so Max is good at dexterity. He failed all those saving throws with the magmans. But now you guys are fucking throwing keys and shit. <laughs> Just fucking around doing amazing shit. Just nonchalant. <laughs> Nate got a natural 20 investigating empty tents. Oh, I know. You know it's just... Okay, so yeah, the door is still locked and closed. Okay, uh, you want to lockpick this, Maxon? I'll give it a go. Okay, he's not proficient in lockpicking, right? Uh, it open. says, is it, isn't it a slate of hand check? No. No. It's just, it's its not. own thing that isn't one of the main skills. So if no, you if you just... don't have proficiency, it's just dexterity that you it add has to a it. Question mark next to my. Is anybody? Like it's, it says per... it? I am proficient with it. I think. Oh, well, you, you let him do Come it. Come on down. Ah. Uh... Yeah, you, you definitely are. But my intelligence tells me that something will explode if I uh, pick it. Is that Theron, true? Theron determined it's not trapped. Yeah, yeah. Say it was trapped. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not physically nor magically. I go down the rope with a dex dexterity. Yep. This is a dexterity check. check yeah. Boom. Good one. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. It's not that hard. If you don't roll a four. Okay. Catch you. Uh, so make a thieves tools check. Uh, it's gonna ask you, I think. Click dexterity. Uh, eighteen. Yep. It it takes you a minute, and it's open. The door falls open. There's a there's a a ladder underneath. And darkness below. I am the locksmith. 
Does somebody with dark vision want to go look? I poke my head in. Uh, it is a square room, and it is empty. Square rooms are safe rooms. Is there a door in there? I ask. Is there a door in there? Uh, there is a path. There's a path. Well, I guess let's head on out. This is uh, the way. How do you get into it? There's a ladder. There's a ladder. Could take the ladder. Okay. I'm just gonna move you. I will follow. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I gotta make another Percy. I can't. I don't want to use the one from that last map because it was all broken from the map being stupid. Okay. Um. Now, some of you may not be able to see very well. Who has the goggles? Mm, Rob. I can't see. I the damn thing. Okay. I think I do what kind of vision distance does that give? Isn't it sixty? 60 feet dark vision. So let me give you that. I kind of reset stuff before because some of it seemed broken. Like Grimgar's vision was broken or something like that. I think that. it was like 30 less than whoever we had 90. Somebody had 90 and then I had okay, 30 can you, less. Can you see now, Rob? Uh, let me zoom out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Dundas probably can't see though. I could just see the room we're in. Oh, you know what? Um, what level did you guys just hit? Ten. Okay. Yeah. So, here's something interesting. They changed Tritons recently. They came out with a, um, a new world that's based on Greek mythology. And Tritons are in that. And they're supposed to live at the bottom of the ocean, so you know what doesn't make sense for creatures that live at the bottom of the ocean? That they can't see in the dark? They can't see in the dark. Uh, so they added that, and so I was thinking that when you turned level 10, you would gain 60 feet dark vision. You can see in the dark now, Dundas. Or, yeah, here, Dundas. Yeah. Hooray. Good job. That does make sense, though. Yeah. All of a sudden, my eyes, I'm just like... <gasps> <laughs> well, I think this is the first time it would have come up. And so it's you're dark. like, whoa. Now we start. Cool. It's dark in here. You can't see me. Uh, yeah. You guys can't see Urkin anymore. God damn it, Urkin. Where'd Urkin go? We know Let's where go. he is. He's here. He's holding <laughs> my hand. Theron sticks out his arm to put his hand on his shoulder, and he's not there. <laughs> I mean... I he's pretend like I'm tapping him, so I don't actually yeah. see him. He's, he's, he's here. <laughs> Theron looks around, his pants are gone. <laughs> Mark can say something. Damn it. Bitch. <laughs> Nate, what, what is this? What? This picture you said. <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. What? $2. Man, that's only two bucks, baby. You can get that shit be there in a month. It's coming uh, from China. Uh, China. Okay, so, what do you guys want to do? Uh, oh, this room is only six feet tall, by the way. So if you're taller than that, you got a duck. Should we... Uh... I am not. Heal up a little bit before we head out. They could use a pair of healing. Those of us that are hurt. Oh, I, I, I'm hurt. I'm not. I'm you saved me. Hurt. I'm at. Nah, what am I at? Forty of seventy-three. So. I'm six foot two. Yeah, so it, it'll just take ten minutes. So. We got bombed yeah. again. I would <laughs> love that. Or I can just drink some potion. Nah, you don't waste If you guys wait for an hour, you can use a short rest and use hit die, too. It's a cozy little room to do that in. I'm not against it. Well, not everybody's hurt, though. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind it. You guys mind waiting an hour? It's fine with me. We got here early. Let's do it. 
Short rest. Okay, short, well, short. It, so right now, just because of the time you spent investigating, it is noon. Okay. Good time for lunch. Yeah, we'll, take okay. a, we'll take a lunch break. Okay, do your do whatever uh, hit die you want to do. Now this tunnel that's ahead of you does wind downward. Just so you know. Sweet. <laughs> uh, one more is actually active. Remember when you do long rests too, you get half of your hit die back. Okay. So that was one, two. All set? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, might as well proceed on. Uh, Erkin, do you want to go in front? I assume you're here. Okay. No one can see you in the dark. Oh, I hear I guess I would have done telepathic bond as well. During that rest. How long does that last? At the end of the rest. Uh, I think an hour. And... Yeah, one hour. Okay. Okay. And I'll cast Major Armor on myself. Okay. Are you preparing for a fight? Just in case. I mean, I get it back. I charge back all the time. It doesn't cost a spell slot, so... Alright, I want to touch Grimgar. And uh, make him 10 feet... 10 speed faster. With this. Week. One hour. Okay. Now we're going to head out. I think oh, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. As long as everyone's ready. I'm ready to rock. You guys ready to rock? Let's do it. Yeah. I'm going to walk in the back still since I'm not real stealthy. Yeah, let's try to keep you safe for once. You should see that a cleric usually dies either first or second every game, every That's fight. True. Make well, that, now that we can all walk in the dark, too, it will be even sure. healthier. We don't have to have Erkin, any light. How long does Pass Without Trace last? Um, I want to say like an hour or something. Spend, spend Trace. <sighs> it's, um, one hour. It's concentration. Okay, so that ended a long time ago. Yeah, that, okay. that ended at the beginning of the fight. Okay. Go on, Percy, go. We good to just move? Yeah. 
That Percy's bump up ahead. Uh -oh. Okay. He's blind here though. So, so Percy goes. Yeah, what the hell is that all about? Yeah, we should be able to see. There is nothing there blocking his vision. I don't know why he can't see past there. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, so the tunnel keeps on going, but there's nothing more to show you there. So you start heading down this uh, tunnel, and you realize it's not like a natural tunnel. This is a lava tube. Ooh. Um, meaning that lava flowed in here at one point. Uh -oh. Um, but it's not right now. Um, let's see, so you passed through this room. Uh, how are you traveling? Um, are you moving? Are you running? Normal speed? Being stealthy, looking for traps, or being stealthy and looking for traps? All of those oh. will affect your speed. I want um. to be stealthy looking for traps. Okay, so real slow. Yeah, very slow. Okay. So you guys move real slow. Um, so about a quarter mile into this, uh, which would take you a half hour to move being stealthy and looking for traps, mm -hmm. um, you come to an area where someone has used magic to shape a door of stone. Uh, blocking the way forward. It appears to have been set up as a spinning door on a central pivot. However, when you test it, uh, the door won't budge, and there is a keyhole in the middle of the door. Try the key. Should, should we check the door for traps? Sure, I will investigate. The door is right in front of Erkin. Um, investigating it, uh, you find something, and uh, why don't you make an Arcana check as well? I don't see. Oh wow! You look at it. You see. You 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 do. You don't find anything physical as you investigate it, but you you get the sense that there's some magic. So you kind of take a close close look at it. And you realize that this lock has an arcane lock spell on it. Um, and you can look up the arcane lock spell if you want to see exactly what that does. But you've yeah. identified that that's what's going on. Yeah, it looks like an arcane, arcane lock spell. Um, look. Maybe I might be able to paste it into the chat quick here if I... Can find, let's see. There we go. So you can dispel it. Um. Okay. What's the magic word that we saw upstairs? The fire is eternal phrase. You mean? Yeah, something like that. We could try that. Is that all it takes is a password? Possibly. It says you can also set a password. It doesn't have to. I say uh, fire is eternal or something like that. The spell on the lock fades away. Nice. Easy. Can we go on through? You go first. What? No, uh, you said it. <clears throat> Not me this time. You're, you're invisible. You go first. Yeah, fireball's gonna happen. Okay. I'll go first. Okay, you push on the door and it doesn't open because it's still locked. I stick the lock, uh, the key in the lock. Uh huh. And I turn it. Okay, the door is unlocked now. <laughs> I am the lock keeper. <laughs> the, the arcane lock just made the lock dif more difficult to break or pick. It didn't unlock it. But you figured out the rest of the story. That's what I do. Alright, 
I put a door there, but it's really pointless because you just continue on after that. Son of a bitch. Uh, you get past that door, and you see that there is more tunnel ahead. Uh, but it twists so much that it's impossible to know how far that it goes. What do you do? What are you doing, Chris? We send the magic dragon ahead. Okay. Okay. Percy, can, Percy flies forward. Yeah. What's he and what's he doing? Searching. Okay. How you can make a perception. For anything, for, just for anything out of the order. Yeah. Now. Perception Searching check. Percy. Of course, he always gets sixes. Well, he doesn't see anything. I'm ass dragon. All right, he says he's it looks good. Okay, Erkin, make a dexterity saving throw. All right, you step past the door, and as soon as your foot hits the ground, the floor begins to fall away, and you manage to jump forward and not fall in. Uh, looking down below, you can see that it is a 20-foot hole with stone spikes at the bottom of it. Wow. Don't fall in there. Okay. Yeah. See ya. He just leaves. Go ahead. I can like push there and like let's go. Uh. It's a hold up. They can all fly. Except Grumgar. Wait, Dundas, he's in the way. Dundas get moving. Where am I going? <laughs> Follow yeah. where Erkin went. Are you going over the hole? Okay, whoever's jumping over the hole, make an athletics check for me, please. Maxon can just fly over, so I'm not really worried about that. I'm not fly. Grimgar makes it over. What are Theron and Dundas doing? I'm just sitting here. I'm okay. standing behind them, I guess. I'm just watching them. Be patient. Okay. okay. I guess they went by. Yeah. I don't feel like jumping Fine. over. Okay, so the rest of you continue on. Uh, how far do you want to go before you stop and wait for Dundas and Theron? Well, it looks to me like it fucking ends right there. I, I mean, I could make a much longer tunnel if you want, but... No, I there's just, nothing else. Okay. There's nothing else going on. Is my so point. It's, it's, pre it's pretty much continuous. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'm jumping. Yeah. Nothing to look for either, probably. So just... athletics, you said. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm having you guys. This is a long tunnel, and I'm having you guys do stuff when stuff matters. That's all. Understood. Everybody yeah. makes it over, no problem. All right. Um. Pit trap done. I'm just floating over the trap right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, all right. So you have now, at this point, uh, when I'm picking back up with it, it's been a, a half mile, and anything that was supposed to last for an hour has ended. Rats. Um, you come to an area that has three passages ahead of you. The top one, or the left turn, goes down. The straight one goes straight. And the one on the right, which is the, the bottom one, uh, goes up. Do we see or hear anything from any of the passages? Um, Percy, make a perception check. Percy. Oh, he did better. All right, he doesn't hear anything. I choose the bottom tunnel. Is there a sign? 
No, there's no signs. Is there any uh, indication of uh, foot traffic? Anything like that? If you want to do your own check, you can. Percy got an 8. Yeah, I want to do my own check. Investigation. Um, This is survival, actually. Sorry, because you're looking for footprints. Survival. Oh, I like survival. Um, you do find foot evidence of traffic going all three ways. I'll do one. Uh. <laughs> okay, you also find traffic going all three ways. But anything like... You want to know shoe Can sizes? I... Yes. Is there like any fresh gum? Um, like 10s and 11s, I guess. Any any dragon footprints, Max? No, no dragon footprints. Any <laughs> Nikes? Uh, he couldn't fit in here. Percy hearing that lands and then hops up again. And Max, <laughs> you see a dragon footprint, you're like, oh! <gasps> Jeez. <laughs> Alright. Hey, you want to I'll, I'll follow up? him. Uh... Follow who? We split up. Yeah, it's it's a bond. I don't right, know if it's but we could split up, I suppose. Trident, too. How long does telepathic bond last? Hour. It's over. Oh. Yeah, it took you guys an hour to go half a mile because you're going sneaky and looking for traps. So okay. it's very slow. Did we sneak past any traps so far? No. Um, You did not, you've not, the, other than the pit trap, you have not seen any other traps. Which we didn't see the pit trap, did we? Oh, yeah, the pit trap. I guess it uh, is. Percy was the only one who investigated over there, and he got a six, so he didn't see it. So they don't want us to go this way. There's been a bomb, rubble, little guys, doors, magic doors, traps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just the entrance. Yeah. Which way? So do we want to stick together and go... The lower route, or do you want to split up? Stick together? Are we smart? I think if we go okay. the wrong way, we might just end up in a trap, so. I'm afraid. The risk we're going to have to take. Maybe. <laughs> we have... I could sit here and use telepathic bond. I could just send Percy along we can somewhere. At least have you guys go a certain distance before having us follow. We don't want like a trap to come up and trap us all in the same place without being able to have anyone outside help us. No, I'm invisible. That couldn't hurt. Yeah, but you don't like doing anything. I don't. I I could stay back. <laughs> the invincibility might not save us from shit either. What I mean is you don't really get distance from anything, so as soon as we get found, you're right there anyway. It's not like you're far ahead of us when you're invisible. I could be. Could be. But if you want to be, you could be. I chose this way. Well, I'm going to follow. I, I spent the time with uh, the ritual for telepath bond, though. Okay. Let me write that down. <clears throat> Stay uh, a little bit farther behind, just in case. Okay, you all going that way then? With Urkin or what? Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm going that way. Are this? Yeah. Okay, yes. everybody goes the same way. Okay, uh, a little while later, you come to a very similar uh, intersection. Um, let's see, you went. Up. I so at this here. point, you get to an area where there's a straight, a left, and a right. The left and straight go down. The right goes straight. So we went up the first time, correct? Yeah. You're gonna go up again. There is no up. 
Oh, I'm sorry. What, what are they again? Down Left, straight. down, straight, down, right, up, or right, straight. I think we go left. All right, I want to write these down. So first, first intersection was. Don't bother writing it down. No. Okay. Let's just go straight. Is that what you do? I'm good with straight. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sure. All right, you come to an intersection with two ways you can go. They both go down. Go up. <laughs> I said... Uh, Diagonal. Is it like left or right or... I moved to the back. Oh my gosh. Wait, what happened? <laughs> okay. Erkin pushes past all of you to get to the back of the line. I say, let's go left. So I'll go left. Okay. Okay, you go left. Um, who is leading the group? Um, not me. Through the winding, the, through the winding uh, lava tubes. Who is, who is leading you through the winding lava tubes? Not me. Finding lava tubes. I guess I will. Percy. Okay, make a survival check. You, he is not very dexterous, Max, and you can fly if you get in trouble. What? Um. You can, you can okay. fly. <clears throat> okay. You. In a lava tube. You wander around for two hours, and you end up back at that first intersection again. So you're back at the f you 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 realize it when you get there that you've already been there because you see the dragon footprints again. Um. Just you weren't that good with an eight. You weren't that good at leading through the tubes, and you ended up taking paths that that made you go back to where you started. <coughs> oh boy. Well, now what do you want to do? Try a different way? It's 4 p.m. now. Can't wait till tomorrow. I don't know. Well, we should keep keep going, right? Do that. Go years. back. You just try again. Yeah. Okay, who's leading? It was really good survival. I have a plus five. I just had a shitty roll. I got an eight. You got plus eight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should lead this. Should. Damn it. My purpose the one in the back. All right, no one else is leading. I'll lead. Well, we failed and we didn't die, so I, I think we should do that. As long as, as long as you don't. Well, after one, probably. You can do it. So, what is there? Are there three ways to go? Yeah, just roll a survival check. Yeah. 24. Okay. Uh, you figure out what went wrong last time. You realize that the place you're going is down. So you head down instead of up. Stupid dragon. And you eventually come to another blocked passage with a door but this time it's a simple old wooden door in the very middle of a semicircular passage uh the door is uh just a normal old wooden door with a regular doorknob and hinge on it it sounds suspicious it's definitely suspicious uh in a place made of stone, lava tubes. You're up at kind of the top middle now, guys. All right, Grimgar, you're good at doors. I'm not good at investigating them for traps, though. I'll investigate. What? 
Okay, um... There is no physical trap on the door. Make an arcana check. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, there is an enchantment on this door. Uh, but you can't tell what it is. Just by, just with an arcana check is not good enough. Look deeper. Oh, yeah. You can use identify, but it's going to take ritual. Probably worth it, right? How long does it take? It'll rid the ritual, so 11 minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. If you, you think there's something suspicious, I think we should wait. Okay, uh, you identify it. Um, you can see, you, you, you determine mm -hmm. that the door... Door is alive. Identify is weird, but um, tell the the spell is imbued with a telekinesis spell. The door is imbued with a telekinesis spell. Interesting. Is there any way we can uh, turn it off? Do you know dispel magic? I don't think I do. You have not tested the knob at this point. Once you determined that there was a spell on it, you waited to do that. Yeah. I I did not prepare that today. Okay. That means just someone can open it. <laughs> um my guess my guess is it's gonna tell whoever put the spell on that the door's been opened. Yeah. I mean, that's not what telekinesis does. It's just like a handicap door. Just, just talk through it. You know what telekinesis means? You can move the door with their mind. Telekinesis is controlling objects with your brain. Yeah. Doors don't have brains. So something's controlling a door. Alright, I'll try the knob. How do you open it? I twist the knob, and then wait, and then I slowly... Alright, as soon as you turn the knob, a log blasts through the door and hits everybody that's in its way. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Theron, Grimgar, and Percy make dexterity saving throws. <laughs> I just moved. Nice! Not, oh, that that was Percy. <laughs> uh, so Grimgar, you take twenty-three bludgeoning damage. Um, Percy and Theron managed to completely dodge it. The DC was an eighteen. <laughs> so a twenty and a nineteen is a very timely. So is the door gone? Yeah, the door is gone. The door was destroyed by the log. I want to check and see if Grimgar's okay. I would say he's, like, prone, too. Like, it threw him on his ass. I help him on. Oh, I say, God damn it, I'm tired of getting hit by traps today. <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> When I was asking how you open the door, I was wondering if you'd like open it and stand to the side or not. That that's what I was that's what I was getting at. You're like I turned it out, I'm like, okay, <laughs> boom. Yeah. That was not specific. Sure. Alright. Uh Theron, when you walk through the door, 
Uh, you see that the passage in front of you actually is a dead end. It was just meant for holding the log. And uh. below you, there's another door that heads into the same room. Oh. We should have gone through that door. Yeah, if anybody had investigated the wall, you could have seen the seams of a, a door built into the stone. I go back in time and do that? No. <laughs> that's fine. And so that's where the passage is that you have to go. All right, you're past that one. Um. Okay. Eventually, you come to a room that is very bright and incredibly hot. Um, Wait, room. Got it. I'll put you all over here. You have not entered this room yet. You're peering into it. Okay, I want to investigate the floors. Uh, so when you say you're investigating the floors, are you walking forward into the room to check out the floor? Uh, or just the hallway walking, you're in? I want to just make sure this floor is real. Not like an illusion or some shit. Okay. Um, that is a perception check because illusions are based on wisdom. Do you want to have somebody double check your work? Somebody double check my work. I'll take it. You're like, it looks real to me. I have a bad headache and I don't I'm know if do it's the right. Perception. Hey, who's perceptuous? Me and Grimgar. <sighs> Not me. I'm Grimgar's not doing anything. I'm zero on that. <laughs> Grimgar's just salty. <laughs> I didn't do that much better. Okay, Max and I've... Theron both think that the floor is completely real. I okay. want to be like 10 feet Somebody in back like... of everyone, too. Somebody got like a rock they can throw? Grimgar does. <sighs> I'm like, like tossing the rock. I grab the rock. Okay. And I roll it across the floor. I give him the rock bottom. It rolls across the floor. All the way to the bridge. Uh, make a make an attack roll. D twenty <laughs> plus uh, dexterity. So when you say plus dexterity, it's just the two. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just roll because when you're not proficient in something, you don't get proficiency. You are not proficient in rock throwing. Six. All right. Uh, you don't throw it hard enough, and it only rolls halfway across the room. Okay. So it did okay, right? Yeah, it was fine. Bounced across the floor just like you'd think. And I go to wherever it stopped and pick it back up? Yep. Where was that? Good last Justin, name. Just in front of... Careful. Yes, okay. it is. Okay, right, right there. Uh, I'll roll it again toward the bridge. Okay, dude. Roll the d20 again. Damn it. Uh, it probably reaches its time. Yeah, it rolls right up to the bridge, and it's fine. But now that Dundas and, and Theron and Percy have entered the room... Um, but, 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 let me just see. Uh, I need the, the three of you to make constitution saving throws. Damn it. Kill us all. You, it'll make sense when, when you find out what this is. Yes! You've killed us all. <laughs> Percy needs to do yeah. it too. Oh, my bad. All right. So, you're in this room and you kind of don't notice at first because you're fucking around with the rock. <laughs> um, but then you throw it again, and then you're like, it's fucking hot in here. And uh, you successfully avoid taking a level of exhaustion from the heat. Uh. Um, it is just real fucking hot. And you realize that's because this is a bridge over lava. Okay. Um, What's the bridge made out of? The bridge is made out of stone. Wouldn't that be really hot to step on? Possibly. Yeah. Like it's cooking a pot. Possibly. What the test it's, it's really hot in this room, and the three of you each take two points of fire damage. Shit. Just from being in the room. Has nothing to do with the saving throw. Okay. Uh, then I want to go quick, and mm -hmm. how far is Misty Step? 30 feet. I mean, sorry, I meant, like, where can I get to in the room? Right in the lava. <laughs> so I'll move up a little bit. Uh-huh. Move right here. Uh-huh. I'm good still, I'm not dead. No, you're not dead. Okay. It really depends I'll on how long you're taking, though. I'll misty step now. 
Okay. I'm going quick. Uh-huh. Uh, there. Okay, you're fine. I'm just keep going. <sighs> Do I feel better? You're not far enough away. You got to go around the corner. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. It's, it's, when you get around the corner here, it's like noticeably cooler. It's cooler over here and I'm not dead. All right, I'm going to run. Uh -huh. Watch out for the bridge, as though. That's as far as I can make it, though. Yep, he runs over the bridge, no problem. Damn it. Percy. Mm hmm. Could be my bitch go first. Gotta go around the corner. Oh, I didn't take my damage yet. Let me do that. I don't want to go before me. No. <laughs> Alright. Constitution saving throw, Maxon. <sighs> It's funny that the two people that get knocked all the time are super scared to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you take one point of fire damage. They're not fucking around at all. <laughs> Stay in the back, you guys do everything. You got any water, Grimgar? I got a water skin. You wanna douse me? Uh, uh, I can we have enough skin. water to drink if I douse him with my water skin? Uh, I don't know, I think... The water skin has a lot of water, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. I think it's like five gallons or something. I think it's huge, isn't it? Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, I wonder if I can look that up. Water skin holds I can't believe we're using time to figure this out, though. I actually have two water skins, so. So yes, I will. I will dump some Four water. Four pints. I can use a scroll of tidal wave. <laughs> or a wall of water and you guys can run through it. <laughs> You're gonna boil us. Yeah. You're gonna boil you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll put it right over the bridge. How about that? I'll pour some water on it. Okay. Yes, yes I'm all wet. Go for yeah, it. He pours hot water on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go past him. Alright, Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Hey, nice. I'm gonna say you don't take the damage with a natural 20. That's right. Unless well, you like, wait around. Do you, you run? Like... Yes. Okay. Erkin runs through, he's like, well, I don't know what the problem was. This is the water. Go first, you son of a bitch. While you were in the room, all that water evaporated off of you. Good. So is my rock right near the lava? It's right at the foot of the bridge. God damn it. Um, <laughs> just grab it up. I, I humbled it myself. Away. I gave him my rock, and it's ruined. <laughs> not ruined. I'm not picking it up. Why not? It's super hot in there. You're wearing gloves, aren't you? Like a mitt. It'll cool off eventually. You gotta be wearing gauntlets, yeah. What yeah, are you I trying am to wearing pick up? gauntlets. It'll cool off. Alright, I'm gonna try to grab it on my way through. And if All it's right. hot, I'll immediately throw it. So when you run into the room, make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. <laughs> I'll throw it. <laughs> Look, we'll find you some more rocks. Okay, uh... You... have one level of exhaustion. Uh, and your eyes are watering, so you have disadvantage on attack rolls and wisdom checks, or perception checks. Like your eyes now, are watering, I'm, I'm and, here. uh, yeah, while you're in there, and you take three points of fire damage. Okay. And I'm just gonna run through, I'm gonna grab the rock. Okay. I'm not gonna make you roll for that, you pick up the rock. Alright. It doesn't seem all that hot, uh, no hotter than the rest of you at this point. Okay. Uh, so, when you get back, when you get around the corner over there, your vision clears up, but that level of exhaustion is going to stay until you do something about it. So what do I need to do about it? Rest? rest. Here, let me uh, it typically a long rest. I don't know if you have another shortcut for it. Da, 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 da. Sometimes there are potions or something that helps. Like what? Special exhaustion potion. Oh, do you have one of those? No. 
I don't think I have a way around it. That as a thing. So I have disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. Uh, about 200 feet from that room, you come to another room that looks like a smaller version of the same thing. Um, the ceiling is 40 feet high. There is no lava below the, the bridge. This is just an empty channel, so it's not hot in this room. Uh, the only other difference is that the ceiling in that room had been smooth. This one has is covered in stalactites. Hmm. Perceive, greater, greater perceive right. cloud and perceive. You can do yeah. that another rock. Perceive. Huh? Can I see that rock? You gonna give it back to me? I'll try to pick it up if I throw it this time. I'll give him the rock. Um... He doesn't see any traps on the floor. Um, there's no, like, he doesn't detect any, like, hidden bouts of heat, like, lava's gonna spray out onto you or anything. Okay. He doesn't notice there. anything off. Hmm. That's how they get you. Yeah. That's his best perception of the night. Okay. How confident is the, is the dragon? How confident of what? Like how Dragon? confident is he in what he's perceiving? As confident as you ever can be. I mean, he's checking it out. He f he flies across the entire room. He checks out the floors. He checks out the walls. It all looks fine. So looks he's, fine to he's him. Not hot. He's not hot in this room. Mm -mm. Looks fine to him. Nope. As far as the thirteen goes. He's not reading comics, is he? I walk. Theron walks out into the room and he's fine. Oh Man. Oh God. I keep going. I'll like slowly peer out into wait, the room. Wait a minute, let me go first. I don't want I don't want anything crazy to happen. When Theron steps onto the bridge, the entire room reverses gravity. You start flying upward, Theron, toward the stalactites. So does Dundas. I try to grab Dundas. Okay. Make a dexterity saving throw to grab him. Do I do this at disadvantage? Uh. Is it an ability check? I'm going to say it's not an ability check, it's a saving throw. Saving throw. You're reacting to grab him. I will misty step. Yeah! Okay, you grab him, him and pull him in. You're misty stepping, Theron? Yeah. Bring my um. Or is that. Because I'm upside down. It's, it's a bonus like... action. Hold on. I'm trying to think. Uh, you step on it. It reverses. You would immediately start to fall. It's only 40 feet. Okay. Um, to determine whether or not you get the spell off fast enough. Because mm -hmm. Misty Step isn't a reaction. It's a it's a bonus action. Yeah. Um, as opposed to like Feather Fall that's a reaction. Mm -hmm. Um. Make a spell attack. So that's your intelligence plus your perception. Or, uh, come on, what is it? Um, I can't think of the word. Arcana? What, I don't no, know. what do you normally add to your intelligence when you're attacking? Proficiency? Proficiency. Okay, so plus nine. 22. Oh, yeah, okay, right, 13 plus, plus 9. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You t you, and, when you, and when you get to there, when you appear right there, gravity is not reversed right there. Yeah. Um, Percy, I'm not even going to make him roll. He would be affected by it. He Suddenly gravity would flip and he would like swirl around a bit, but he would be able to catch himself and fly. I, I would, I'm not going to make him roll. He took two points of damage, though, earlier, Dundas, I from, gotcha. from the fire. I'm gonna have him fly over here with him. Okay, so he flies upside down, and when he when he crosses this threshold, gravity flips again. He's like, oh, oh god, that is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, glad you guys didn't follow me. And so, with all of that happening, we determine you can see now that both the pit 
and the bridge are illusions. I learned my lesson after the first room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is... Oh, man, I didn't move the camera for this whole part. Um, yeah, so the pit, the pit and the bridge were illusions, and it's just an empty room. All right, figure it out. Are there, like, handholds on the wall inside the room you kind of grab onto and climb up, as yep. it were? Are there parts? I'd be able to run and use my suit to fly across. Can I fly upside well, down? Well, like, by the time you... you got across the room, you would be on the stalactite, which is technically able... stalagmite with this guy. Yeah, I used to be able to fly across, I think. Just uh, well, with his with his suit, he sinks as he goes forward. He can't he can't actually fly. He's gliding downward. True. And, I was right. Oh, okay. Well, what I'm with, with Dundas, he would end up below the door, because the door is only five or six feet high, and he would he would fall the full forty feet down to the ceiling floor. Okay. Um. Could we? Once we fall up, can we climb amongst the stalactites or stalagmites, whatever it is, at that point to get across the room? Oh, absolutely, if you don't get impaled by one. Yeah. And then we'd have to find a way down to the door from there. Right. right. Theron, I, I yelled, Theron, do you have rope? Uh, I, I have believe I do. All right. Hey, look. Well, Maxon can at least make it if nobody else. You have rope, rope, right, Maxon? I have some oh, rope. Okay. I have two. I'm out uh, Dundas and Maxon mm -hmm. hold the rope, and we, the two of us, Grimgar and I, go down, and then we walk and we climb up. Yeah, side. I have 50 feet of rope, so I'll hold, give you oh, one. Oh, Maxon under, under the room? Okay. Maxon, when you fly into the room... You expect to like be flipped upside down and nothing happens. Okay, so everything's hmm. normal right here where I am. So Alright, here, take my rope. Ended when the I'll hold on to this end. Maybe? Yeah, I wonder what triggers it again. Could be the middle of the room or it's done. It has to be recasted by somebody. Yeah, Ma uh, Max, and can you try walking across maybe on the south side or something and see if it triggers? Maybe like the bridge area triggered it. Here, know. hold on. Maxon, you're flying, right? He's flying right now. Yeah, that's why I put the symbol can you, on. Can you hold on to my end of this rope? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna come out and see what happens. Not nothing happens. I don't think he can support. Try, try, go, try just... going on the south on the south part though, away from where that bridge Down illusion here? was. Yeah, yeah, going the very south, and then go across. Same, same for you, Dundas. Brenton. He ran across exactly where it was, and nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay. <laughs> Walk along the south wall. No, the south I'm, wall. No, I'm sprinting I'm forward. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna run. Oh God. <laughs> All right. I throw my rope out. It's like 50 feet from me. Okay, he Just throws the rope. <laughs> Does the bridge reappear? No. Bob holding on to a... I, I ran. I sprinted across. No, doesn't reappear. Alright. Shame. Alright, I reclaim my rope. Alright. <laughs> you get across. <laughs> hey, come <laughs> down here and check this out. Bye! <laughs> Alright. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna have to zoom out to. Some Indiana Jones shit. Alright, so you guys continue on. You're now about a mile away from where you started. Let me update my timeline here. Uh, 
When you get here, it's real hot again. It's real hot right here. Like, it got warmer and warmer as you kept going, and now it's real friggin' hot. Ah. Um. You can also see, if, like you did in that other, in, in, the, in the bridge room, that there is light, lots of light, around this corner. Okay, Erkin, when you step out, I need you to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Twenty-two. Okay. You take two points of fire damage, and this is not a lava pit. This is a solid floating wall of of magma blocking the path ahead. Um. It, it's it's flowing and swirling around in place as if it's inside a box or something, an invisible box, and is very obviously meant to block the, p the path going forward. Um, at this point, I am going to share the uh, lava rules with you guys. Can remember where I put them. Lava rules. Lava rules. So you just so that you know how fucked you are if you get near lava. I'm gonna Google that. Lava rules. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's already shared. Okay, I'll just show it to you. So the the area entitled lava is specific to lava. <laughs> The basics are, the closer you get to lava, the more fucked you are. Um, well, this is, again, this isn't lava, it's magma. Because lava is above ground and magma is below ground. Really well, lava you, above though. ground is dangerous. You can get kind of close to it, especially if you're wearing good heat gear. Magma is so hot that if you get too close to it, you die. Hmm. And if you look at that chart at the bottom, uh, oh, there is no chart. No chart. Uh, I guess I have a chart and you guys don't. Um, well, what I was going to say is if you look at the chart, if you land on lava, you die. There is no, or magma. There is no save, there is no nothing. If you touch it, you die, and everything on you is instantly vaporized. Alright, someone then else want to go? There are checks for getting too close to it that really start to get bad at 30 feet, 20 feet, 10 feet, 5 feet, and then obviously 0 feet. I can cast fifth level fly and give three of us fly. It's blocking the entire path. Do I see any uh, switches or levers or stuff on these walls near me? Make a perception check. Perception. Okay. No. Who's good with lava? Uh, anyone I don't think good I, with lava? I'm not proficient in lava, I don't think. <laughs> There's like a 10 foot wall I don't have wide blocking us. There. My fist could prove useful if it's <laughs> not gonna melt. I think you would melt. You would melt. I think your body would melt before your fist melted, but it would melt. I'll, I'll, I'll give you one thing. If you get within five feet of the magma wall, 
You have to make a DC 25 constitution saving throw, and if you fail, you take 20 D10 damage. Uh, That's why? Bad. That many exists. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to go home now. Uh, got some spells. Oh, you, you would also be permanently things. blind, even if you survived. <laughs> we, uh... We don't have to go in there, right? Does that give you super perception? Pretty good reason to not go in here. Well, if we take a long rest, I could prepare to spell magic. Works within 120 feet, so I don't have to get that close. I might just get the box that's holding it up to go away. True, and then is there some place it can fall in there? I mean, I'm, I'm not like, what if lava falls on you? Uh, are there any mechanics to this wall that I see? You don't know if there is a wall, it's just what it looks like. Ah. Is there anything below it, or just the floor? Yeah, the floor. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell if it's sitting on a floor, or if the lava just keeps going down or not, and it's some kind of vertical tube that doesn't flow out for some reason. You can't you tell. At... You can't hmm? see anything. Uh, bottom what... left. I see us, but like Ellie sees a hallway. Oh, Erkin's the only one who's going around the corner. As a matter of fact, Erkin, you aren't close enough to. You can give yourself those hit points back. You aren't close enough to take that damage. No, can we can we peek around the corner then, and not have to make a con save? You would need to make a con save, or to not suffer exhaustion. Mm. Where Erkin is? Where Erkin is? You wouldn't take oh. damage. I I jumped the gun on the damage. I see a wall. I see like an open space north of the wall that runs along in a right angle from from me. And then at the end of the hall of this wall is a ten foot by ten foot square of lava magma stuff. So there's some space before you get to the wall that I can't see yet. How close is it? Could be run that way, or we're going to be melted. The opening is like 30 feet away. And the wall, the lava is probably like 60 feet away. <laughs> I say you send in this, this stupid dragon that sucks at <laughs> percepting stuff. That's a good idea. A potion of fire resistance, too. Not that helpful, though. Um, fire resistance would help but not a yeah. lot. Um, the For some of the degrees here, the, the disadvantage on perception checks because your eyes are watering can be avoided because you have resistance, and any damage you take would be halved. But as far as getting too close to lava, if you touch it, you die. Resistance so what, won't matter. But what I'm hearing is there's a, there's a path to go before you get to... The lava, is that correct, Durkin? There's an opening. Is there like a bigger room? So, should, yeah. why don't we have Percy go check that out? Hey, you here? Are you muted? What's going on? I'm here. Okay. You have Percy go check out this passage? Yeah. He's underneath somebody. He's in there. Underneath me? Where is he? He's tasty. I'm just gonna fucking roll for him. He's there. There he is. Oh, he, I mean, where he is matters, so you have to move him. Oh. Well, he can't... I, he's still broken, so I can't see where he's going. Oh. Unfortunate. I can move my guy down here, though. Hold on. Hold on. Um... Aha! 
Okay, so um, I would probably say just go to the edge there. And okay. For now. Yeah, with his 13 perception, he doesn't notice anything. He's got to make the con save. Okay. Um. Shit. He's just... gonna keep going. Oh God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> He's supposed to be going like up a passage or something. Fifteen feet away. All right. Make another Constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> which, which way did he go? A nine. Okay. Um. He's got to be like. Immune to all type of heat and fire, right? Why? <laughs> oh, I must. Okay, so he takes five fire damage. He, the front of his body suffers second degree burns. Um, his Jeez. eyes are watering, so he has disadvantage on. Perception checks. He takes one level of exhaustion, and that's it so far. All right, so right about where he's at, guys. He ain't trying to go any. <laughs> What's in that uh, space? Well, he probably can't see anymore. I can't. Uh. Um. Takes another can't... two fire damage. I can't see north of here. He's just gonna come back and die in my arms. <laughs> right, what if I shout the fire is eternal or something like that? What was that? I don't know. Do you want to do fire, that? Fire yeah, eternal. I shot that. Okay, nothing happens. Nope, I'm out of ideas. So what was uh, up that passage? So did more fire? Did I think something different was gonna happen. There is. Kind of confused. So, Percy can come back and tell everybody that there's no other passage. The hallway just gets wider. Ah, okay. Um, everybody make a history check. History. Okay, I have a bad history check. All oh, terrible. Want, want. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Obviously, if you can figure out a way to turn this off, then you can get by it. <laughs> but it's magma. And so... There aren't a lot of ways to deal with that. However, the one way to not get hurt by magma is to be immune to fire. Hmm. The only thing... Well, I mean, and of course you could try to teleport past it. The only thing that you know of about fire resistances and fire immunities is you were told in Yartar that there was a man who lived outside of town who formerly worked for Neverwinter producing magic items that would help the nobility in case of a volcanic eruption again. Of course. Does anybody remember the rest of that story? I don't remember that at all. No, I, I really don't. His name was Rin Fasir. R-Y-N-F-A-S-I-R. Uh, this uh, green dragon attacked his cottage. Everything was stolen. I uh, so they took Phantom Fang. His magic right uh, probably. Well, so they can get past her easily, but we can't. And we met uh, Melina Princeps. She was sent to investigate that. You didn't meet her. Oh, you I'm didn't sorry. meet her. You were told that she was investigating what had happened, 
and was searching the hills to try to find the dragon's lair. Okay. She was going to go to Yartar after she did the investigating and written down? Yes. Okay. We could wait here until somebody came with the items and then kill them and take it from them. <laughs> no one has a teleport spell or some way to get around magma. Nope. Would, would Dimension Door get past it? Doesn't that teleport? Yeah, I have Dimension Door, and I think Bandus has done it's Dimension Door. How many people can you take with you? Just one? Dimension? Uh, just one. I think it's one willing. Yeah. So uh, you could each use it and go one way, but then someone has to come back and then use it another time. I have... Can we tell exactly how far this goes to? Uh, yeah, I can't see past it. Okay. It's a solid wall of lava. You shouldn't even be able to see as far as I'm letting you see. Okay. So we don't know exactly where to teleport, I guess, is the problem. We also don't know what's lurking on the other side. Uh, I could use mine twice. Yeah, but then that'd only mean you could go across and then come back, and then... Although you get your spell back with a short rest, right? No, I gotta do it, um... Every morning I can roll a d4 to gain some charges. Is there something I can polymor polymorph us into? <sighs> Is immune to fire? interesting polymorph into I can't think of anything well I doubt we would be able to comprehend it so look it up I think Jeez, polymorph can only transform you into a beast beasts and minifiers is what you're saying Beasts are animals. Okay, so real, not fantasy. Yeah, but, well, I mean, still fantasy because there's like giant crabs and shit, but, you know, they are animals. They're just. They have the properties, they don't have like magical powers. Yeah, for the most part. Can I shoot an arrow into the wall? Sure. Have you been standing there this whole time? Maybe. Shoot an uh, arrow into the wall. I shoot, shoot you. Okay, it gets halfway, bursts into flame, and explodes. Okay, let's get out of the way now. Guess we leave? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we have to. I mean, I can I teleport I somebody else with me, but if we fail, we fucking die. Yeah. Well... If so, Dimension Door. If you try to teleport into a solid object, you don't go anywhere. You just take psychic damage or force damage. I can't remember which it is. Um, because you pick a specific spot, and if that spot's occupied, you just ah, right. Yeah, it's force damage. If you pick a spot that isn't occupied but it's above lava or something, you're gonna die. I don't want to die. Yeah, I'd rather not die. Can we just send Percy through? Percy will probably die. Where they send him through? Yeah. Percy's hurt. I mean, I'm he about got to just he... grab Percy and break his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Percy got twenty feet away from the lava and almost died. Yeah, we just send him someplace and see if he dies or not. He's gonna die just from the heat. Yeah, if we send him that way, he's just gonna die. Well, we send him, you know, further away, potentially. What do you mean by that? I don't get Dimension much. door, you can't send someone else. You oh, have to go. Wow. You have to go? Oh, I see. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's, it's a terrible name for a spell because there is no door. You yeah, just you door. you pop, you just pop and show up wherever. Right. There's no door. I mean, you can't, like, open it and throw you someone through. You yourself. Right. Yeah, it's a bad name. 
There's a door to say you spawn a door that can right. go through it and it, you know. Pretty stupid. Not today. Yeah, I guess we gotta go back, right? Go check out that lady looking for the dragon, I guess. Yeah. Unless there's a more serious matters that I can Oh, you take a shortcut, go through one of the other temples. Yeah, yeah, yeah really... that's the other way. Maybe go back to the Earth Temple. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys can think about it. That's where we're going to end for tonight. Um, I have one other note I didn't want to say at the beginning um, because I don't want to... I don't want to make... It, I don't want it to seem like it's important, but I don't think you guys have thought about it. So it's one of those things where it's like, A, say something, and I tell you, it's not a big deal, and then you change what you're doing because of that because you think I'm trying to warn you of something. I don't really know how to phrase it so that you'll believe me. Um, but the thing with the water cultists at Red Larch was on the my, my calendar to happen on a specific day. You just happened to be there. That was not something that was just going to happen whenever you went to Red Larch. Wow. I planned on having Red Larch be destroyed by the orb. And wow. you guys almost left the day before it was going to happen and then decided to stay another day. And then oh, it shit. happened. So keep that in mind when you're worrying about the Earth orb. That you don't know when it's going to happen. They've been happening pretty spaced out in time. The cults aren't necessarily working together, so that's not necessarily going to, you know, oh, you know, they're going to wait because their air, water just did their thing. Not necessarily true. Um, so I'm not saying you need to be in a hurry to take care of that or not, but the day on the calendar that it's supposed to happen, it's going to happen if you aren't there. All right, because I think we got to go to uh, it's a place called I can drop like. Uh, Place with the apples. Golden Field? Golden Field. Golden Field. Golden Field. Golden Field. Sitting there for days waiting for it to happen. Or who knows when it'll happen. It could be weeks. I was just kidding because Joe just said, I see. don't think <laughs> that. You know? yeah, I know. That's I was like, he's he's screwing with me. <laughs> so, but yeah, that was that was on the calendar. It happened. I had started working on changes to the world map to get rid of Red Larch and everything. Um, and then you guys stopped it. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so, just so you know, th there are a few things on my can't like some things happen just because you showed up. Like, sure, that's how D and D works, but the orbs are not that way. They they are on a calendar. Well, maybe we should go to the Earth Temple then, anyway, because maybe they haven't left there with the orb. We stop them before they even go to Golden Field. As far as we know. Yeah. Well, are we? Yeah, I must definitely be there, but could be. Are we doing Sunday again? Should yeah, fine? that's fine with me next week. Should be good. Okay. All right, Should guys. be that's good. That's what we'll plan on. I had a lot of fun this session, guys. Fuck yeah.